Hello, my name is John Hunter Crum, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to analyze your Presto Blue data. On this slide, this is the um, data that you've taken from your uh, plate reader, and I've put it into a new Excel sheet so it'll be easier to manipulate. We have uh, sample one, negative control, positive control, and the average for all the biological replicants. And then uh, 570 is your 570 nanometer read, 600, and then the fluorescence read. So here we've added a manipulated data section where it's 570 minus 600. So the 600 is the background noise um, and you want to subtract that from the 570 because that's going to give you your actual reading. You're going to want to do this for the negative control, positive control, and all your samples and the averages. As you can see the formula, you literally just can make a command that's going to subtract it from the same well and just do this for all your data. Now we've added what's called the 570 minus 600 minus NC or negative control. And so the negative control is the background or just like the initial absorbance and you want to take that out so you know how much different your sample is from nothing, right? How much your cells are actually eating of it. Um, I have it twice on here, once to show you what it should look like after the formula and one to show you what the formula is. Um, you only need to do it once and you're going to track this and you want to keep up with that for all your different time intervals and all your different samples. So on this one we only have one sample but in a second we'll show you if you had two samples and multiple time readings. So here we have a different data set that's going to have two different samples at time intervals every 24 hours. And the values here are the 570 minus 600 minus negative control. Um, and just the averages for every biological replicate. That's going to be easier to graph than separate biological replicates, and they should roughly be about the same. So this is one of the more important steps where we're going to take um, your zero hour and set that to 100. And so that's going to be 100% of your growth, and then you're going to track how that changes over time. And so as you can see highlighted, at 24 for sample one, we're gonna take the value at 24 hours, divide that by the value at zero hours, and multiply that by 100. And as you can see below, these are percentages of what it was at the original. So for example, sample, sample one at 96 hours is 278% more, um, more uh, absorbance than at hour zero. And that's what you're gonna be able to graph later on. It's important to do this because if you just graph the if you just graph the absorbance, it's kind of hard to see the changes, but this is going to allow you to um, see it on a better scale. So this final step is graphing your percentiles. And so as you can see on the y-axis, we have the percentages and the x-axis, we have the time intervals um, and the colors will represent your different times. And so this is important to compare the values. As you can see, sample two had a a little bit of an increase and then stopped growing as much while sample one continued to grow pretty consistently throughout the whole experiment. Um, you're going to want to do this for your data and just uh, choose which samples to include on your graph so it doesn't look too cluttered. That's all.